Hey guys, this is Eglybuds, and I just wanted to make a quick video to show you how to access the new material in Keysight 1.6.3. Now, this is important because Keysight 1.6.3 will not touch your saved data, so Keysight will not look any different even though it has got new stuff added to it. So, there are three methods for updating the default presets, you know, all of these. Um, the first and easiest is just to go into System and then click this button, Reimport Default Presets. This will immediately overwrite any presets that have the same name as a default preset. And that full list is Quicksilver, Vintage, Electric, Night, Fire, Spectrum, Gemstone, Keysight, and then Plain Default. So if we click this, there we go, new stuff. Look at how much nicer that is. This will also update the default preset. So if I add a new preset, this here is the new default preset. If we go back a couple times. This is the original one. And then if we go re-import, there we go. Right, okay. So option number two. All of the new default presets come bundled with the Keysight install, and you can specifically import just one of these new presets. So if we click on import, um, typically these are found under, you know, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Keysight, Keysight. This extra resources, so extra resources, presets, stock preset backup, and then you can choose a graphics, which probably ultra, and then you can import just specific presets here. If you do choose to do this method of updating, you may also want to import plain default, the new one, and then go into defaults calibration and click this button, set the current preset as default. What this does is anytime you add a new preset, it will pull this save file. This actually works for any preset. So if you want every single preset to start out like this, you can click this button. And then when we add a new preset, it's exactly the same. You know. Option number three is to completely wipe your save data. Now that seems kind of extreme, but I do recommend doing this if you've never uh, started fresh in Keysight, but you have used the program for a long time. This is because a lot of tiny little settings here and there um, have been changed over the years and wiping your data and getting a new setup will guarantee that every little setting is what I think it should be now. I can't automatically update those settings for you as I go because you might have them set a certain way for a reason, or they may, they may just be set like that because you never touched the default setting. Um, anyway, before, before wiping your saved data with this method, don't forget that you can export a preset if you want to back up a specific preset. If you want to back up all of your saved data, clicking this little icon in the top left here will open up your, your presets. We can just go back a level, and this is all of the saved data that Keysight uses. You can see all of my backups here, right? Like if I just grab this, this folder, copy, paste, and then rename this to like... That's now backed up, right? Even if I delete this, I can then just rename this folder back and get my save data back. Right, so wiping save data. Type in reset into this console command field under system and then press enter. And Keysight will basically do a factory restore. Like it'll literally reload the program after deleting all of your save data. And there we go. You'll notice that the order has changed. I've put Quicksilver up in the front because I think it's the prettiest preset. Uh, right, and, and that about covers it. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the new updated stuff. Uh, join the Discord if you want to ask questions or stay up to date on Keysight 2 development news, and I'll see you in the next one.